Greetings all and welcome back to Simple Living Happy Home. There is a lot of preparation that goes into having a baby. And one of the questions that parents might be facing having to answer is do they use cloth diapers or disposable? So I'm here to provide some information to hopefully make that decision easier. So why would someone use cloth over disposable? Well, let's run through some of the pros of cloth diapers. They're economical in the long run. It's easier to potty train kids that are cloth diapered. They create less garbage and waste. There's less chemicals involved. They're multi-use. They have some really fun patterns and you're able to use them with multiple kids. Disposables also have some pros to them as well. They're extremely convenient. They are space saving in your diaper bag. They are cheaper upfront cost, easy to use. They're very absorbent. They're great if you're out and about. And because of how they're made, they're generally less likely to leak when they're full. Now there's also some drawbacks to each. So with cloth, there's more laundry. You have to figure out a way to manage poopy diapers. There's some special washing rules. They are expensive up front. You end up using more water because you're doing more laundry. They're not always daycare or babysitter friendly. They generally need to be changed more often. And there are very few cloth diaper safe diaper rash treatments. Disposables on the other hand also have some drawbacks like there is more waste and garbage produced by using disposables. In the long run, they are actually considerably more expensive than cloth. They are a one-time use item. You can't reuse them. There is generally a lot of chemicals that goes into disposable diapers. It's harder to potty train kids who use disposable diapers. And because of the chemicals, they can cause irritation to baby skin. So which is going to be the better option? It's ultimately going to be up to your priorities and situation. I've heard a lot of people avoid cloth diapers because they don't want to have to deal with poopy diapers. When we get to the accessories and supplies, I'll talk through some of the things that we have that make handling the poopy diapers more palatable. Now cloth diapers have come a long way in the last hundred years and even just in the last 50 years. Cloth diapers at the time, and I think they were the only diapers at the time, were the section of fabric that would wrap around baby's middle, would get held in place by diaper pins, and then there was usually some sort of waterproof cover that would go over the top. That's what my grandmother used, that's what my mom used, that's what my sister used, and for the longest time that was the only experience that I had with cloth diapers. Then a few years ago my best friend had her first kiddo. And when we went to visit, I noticed that she had this basket of really cool fabrics. So I asked and she explained to me what she was doing for cloth diapers. I was so intrigued. So when we found out we were expecting our daughter, I did a ton of research into the different styles and types of cloth diapers. There's kind of four general categories. There's your old school classic cloth diapers that are your flats, your pre-folds, your fitteds, and your contours. These generally all require pins or snappies and some sort of a waterproof cover to go over them. The next is a, what's called a hybrid. The hybrid does also require a cover, but it can be either a disposable or a washable insert. The next is gonna be your pocket diapers and your sleeve diapers. These two are very similar, but the basic concept is that there is a water permeable inner lining, a waterproof outer shell, and then you insert your absorbent layers in between. The final type is going to be your all-in-ones or your all-in-twos. These are going to be where every piece of the diaper is sewn together, so it's literally just like a disposable, except you wash it instead of throwing it away. 
as you move closer and closer towards disposable diapers with the pockets, the sleeves, and the all-in-ones and all-in-twos, the cost does go up because you get more convenience. So your pocket diapers and your all-in-ones and your all-in-twos are going to be the more expensive options, but they're usually, because of the convenience, more daycare, daddy, babysitter, grandparent friendly. I find that of the options, pocket diapers have the best ratio of cost versus convenience. Some of the brands that are most common and you might see a lot of are Grovia, Thirsties, Bum Genius, Apple Cheeks, Alva, Charlie Banana, Kanga Care Bumpkins, and Gerber. There's a lot more other smaller brands um, and there's also folks that will make cloth diapers and sell them on Etsy and other websites. Cloth diaper sewing patterns are also available online. So if you're handy with a sewing machine, like my mother-in-law happens to be, you can actually make your own cloth diapers. And then there's additional resources online to find out what is the best fabrics to use. One aspect of cloth diapers that still gets debated, but I think the numbers are pretty much settled now, is are cloth diapers more economical than disposable? And based on all of the numbers that I can find and everybody else has found, cloth diapers do end up being a cost savings. Now, depending on the style of cloth diaper you do and the brand of disposable diaper you would use, your cost savings may not be as much. But on average, what you can expect is about a 27% cost savings within the first year of using cloth and then a 60% cost savings in the second year. In actual dollar amounts, cloth for the first two years is gonna cost about eight to 800 to thousand dollars for the first two years versus disposable, which are gonna be two to $3,000 per year. So even if you go on the higher end of cloth and the lower end of disposable, you're still gonna end up with a cost savings. Some additional supplies that can add to the cost of doing cloth diapers are going to be things like wet bags, diaper fasteners, depending on the style of diaper you're doing, diaper pail or liner, if you need that, a toilet sprayer, and a spray shield. Some of the supplies and other accessories that you can or want to have well, obviously the first thing you're going to need are the actual diapers. The number one piece of advice that I can give as it comes to the diapers, in order to stick with it, you need to pick the right style that's going to offer you the most cost savings, but also the most convenience that you're going to be able to stick with. You're going to want to have about 30 to 40 cloth diapers in your diaper stock. But keep in mind that you don't have to get all 30 or 40 diapers in order to actually do cloth diapering. You can just get a handful of cloth diapers and integrate them into your diaper routine. The other things that you might need or want are going to be disposable inserts. There are quite a few cloth diaper companies out there that will make a disposable insert, which does create more waste if that was your primary motivation for doing cloth diapers but it helps managing those poopy diapers a lot more palatable. You can get additional inserts off of websites like Amazon that allow you to put more inserts into your cloth diapers to make them more absorbent. There's wet bags, which not only help keep the dirty diapers contained, but they also do a pretty good job of containing the smell. The toilet or bidet sprayer can really help with being able to spray those poopy diapers off into the toilet and helps to keep your diapers cleaner. The spatter shield or the spray shield, we didn't have one of these until about three months ago and I am so glad I bought one and wish I would have bought one sooner because they really do a great job of minimizing the mess that you get when you spray off your cloth diapers into the toilet. Not all laundry detergents and things are cloth diaper safe. A lot of the reason is they put fabric softeners in detergents. So if you want an extensive list of what is cloth diaper safe and what isn't, I would recommend going to clothdiaperuniversity.com. They have an impressive and very extensive list of all the different types of laundry detergents 
and additives, and they specify if they're cloth diaper safe or not. The last few things that you might need or want are going to be your diaper pins or your snappies, your waterproof covers, and then of course you're going to need wipes, whether you do cloth wipes or disposable wipes, again, is another decision you can make. So there you have it. That was a lot of information, but I hope that helped to provide a clearer picture of what modern cloth diapering is. I know there's probably a ton more questions about how we use our cloth diapers, what our washing routine is, what we use for detergent. So if you're interested, stick around for the next video and I'll go through all of those things along with some other tips, tricks, and wisdom that we have gained over the last 12 plus months of doing cloth diapers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else to come. I'll see you soon.